Welcome to your materials and energy balances class. I'm Dr. Rivera and I'm going to be showing you right now how to navigate my canvas page. So basically you have a couple of uh, menus here or ways to access the information. The first one is here on your left corner. You have the home page, which is the page that you're looking at right now. You have announcements, which I'm going to be using uh, frequently in the class. Uh, you also have a list of all the assignments available for you. You have access to your grades and you have access to your modules. OK, so these module page are exactly the same as the ones as you, you as you see in your home page. So whichever you want to use is perfectly fine with me. So the first thing you're going to do in this class is to actual to access the start here module. So in this module, uh, you will see right information that you have to do at the beginning, important information like where do we meet and who uh, is your instructor and who is your teaching assistant. And also you're going to see a little bit of information about course objectives or what are the intentions, right, or the main goals of this course and what are the activities to move forward. It is important that you start in this module uh, because you need to complete the syllabus agreement in order for you to proceed with the course. Okay, so make sure that you complete the syllabus agreement, uh, you read the syllabus and agree to it, okay, to move forward into my course. So if I go back again here to home, I can go then to my first week of class, which is the actual content or cohort of the course. So in week number one, uh, you can see that you have an overview of your uh, um, week and also you have the student objective which means what are the things that you should know so if you want to study make sure that you know how to do this stuff um, the other thing that you will see are things to do before this week so you will see this often these are just suggestion uh, typically it's just reminders that you need to read and study my advice is that you actually read the chapters before we start the class. It works perfectly for many students, and this is uh, my best advice. Uh, the other thing you will see are things that are due before the, before the first uh, day of class of that week and things that you have to continue working on. Uh, next, you will see things that you have to do during this week and these are my uh, breakdown of topics. Uh, also, I'm able to um, put together some videos. Some videos are made by me, some videos are not. I try to find things on the internet that may be helpful for you. Um, the other thing that you will see here are things to do after each class. Also, uh, supplementary information, things that you should know or you should review. Typically, you will see in this section, uh, you know, help with some mathematical skills or some uh, software skills, things that you should know. But instead of me assuming that you know, I'm actually make it, making it available for you so you can study. So week number one is a good example of how the uh, overall structure of the course will look like. So again, you can uh, go back to the home page and access the rest of the information. So um, have fun with this class. I'm very excited about it. So I hope that you enjoy it as much as I will.